It's 20 Italians bringing you another 20 with 20, playing Ultimate General Gettysburg. On our last episode, we ended the, um, basically the, the afternoon portion of the first day of July 1st during the Battle of Gettysburg. And so we were able to hold the town, able to hold Seminary Ridge, and able to hold Culp's Hill. And, and we were actually outflanking the, the rebels on their left, on our right flank. So now we have two options here. We can either attack Benner's Hill, or we can defend Cemetery Ridge. So if we attack Benner's Hill, this is actually, so we, we're moving the map again. We, we, this is, um, that looks like Culp's Hill. So we're moving it to the, to the east just a little bit. Um, and we're gonna be focusing over here. Or we can defend Cemetery Ridge, which is moving it over, over this way. Um, let's see the briefing of this. We lost Gettysburg yesterday? Well, I mean, we held the town. So this is the, obviously limitations to the game. Um, we are mostly ensconced around Cemetery Ridge, uh, or entrenched, I should say, as to use uh, to use military terminology. Um, opportunity to expand our deployment to the hills east of town before the rebels launch their attack. Uh, or do we wait for their attack? Let's attack. Let's attack Benner's Hill because that's where that's where most of our men were redeploying. Good decision, General. They'll never they'll never see it coming. If we move swiftly and capture Benner's Hill, not only shall it should be shall we have better protection on our right, but we'll also be able to pressure the rebel side. Your task is to capture all strategic points west of the town. But I would, I guess it's west. Um, Slocum's 12th Corps has been deployed on Culp's Hill along with the elements of the 1st Corps. There is currently only one rebel division of Yule's Corps defending Benner's Hill, but you should expect more brigades. So, 1st Corps has suffered the majority of it. Obviously, they were first on, on the field. Slocum, even for his little bit of time in action, took more took more numerical deaths or losses than than the the Eleventh Corps, um, but not percentage wise. Percentage wise, Eleventh Corps is down thirteen percent. On the other hand, we're looking at just uh, Second Corps right now. We got Stewart maybe coming in as well. So let's let's jump into it. I guess we are west of town. No, this is is this Culp's Hill? This is east of town. I don't know why they said it was west. This is east of town. I like this small little battlefield. So we're gonna we're this is Wolf's Hill. This is Benner's Hill. So we want to be able to, to cross Spang Spangler's Spring here. Well, up here it's it's the the Rock Creek. <laughs> That's Pennsylvania for it. We just we just name stuff different things, even though it's all the ones all the same thing. Um, we need to make a break for it up there. This looks like rail line. It's a railroad. So what I want to try to do. This is probably all the men. And this is this is not what happened at the, Getty, the the Battle of Gettysburg. They never attacked. They did attack down Culp's Hill, but they never left Culp's Hill. They just they just entrenched their position. So what we're gonna do? It's uh, it is the it is the second day. We're into the second day now. It's gonna be the first action of the day. Historically, what they did was the second scenario, which was to defend Cemetery uh, Cemetery Hill, but we are. Going to hopefully turn the tables on that. So let's get started here. I really have nothing to change. We'll move, we'll move them up here. So this is where I was at, where we ended the last time. I was actually up beyond this, about, and that's what I kind of wish they would they would keep. Um, is that uh, where sort of where the positions are once you end when you end. Um, when you end the scenarios, they sh you know, it'd be nice to actually 
to actually keep those positions. And I fought hard for him. We got an incredible fog of war here. I'm actually going to try to put them up on the Wolf's Hill. I hear gunfire breaking out, and I don't know where it is. We are all stacked up crazily over here. Dougal's with the 12th. I mean, I just have to have him move back. That, that's just really stacked up oddly over there. And we'll get all the artillery up on the hill. So MacDougall, I'm going to have um, actually fill in. As, as we spread out down here, there's going to be holes. So once, once uh, Ames gets into position, we're just going to do a, a general push. Oh. That's what I heard. <laughs> Gordon's going up there. Well, I don't want to send Kane over. No, not run. Halt. Halt. I just need to make a push across this river. River. Across the creek. I just need to get across Rock Creek. I'm going to take some casualties here coming straight across but uh, it's the only way I, I have to push off this hill and because what I'm going to try to do I'm going to have MacDougall probably probably come this way because uh, then I'll just sw I'll swing Lockwood around to hit him that way we'll get we'll get Winnegar up here Rug doesn't have He doesn't have, uh, what do I want to call it? Uh, he doesn't have a, any eyes over here. He's not elevated enough. So we are pretty spread out here. I don't know if that's going to give me enough sight. No, they're still higher than me over there. I mean, heck, even this is higher than, than over here. All right, Stannard's Brigade coming. All right, so they're on Benner, Benner's Hill. We're about ready to get, there's the guns. need them to just follow up. It's probably going to be easier for standard to come to come across here that's a really roundabout now I'm trying to think what would they do they really wouldn't be fording these creeks here like this this is still an impediment they'd have to go down the bank up the bank again it is the quickest way across but I don't know if it's the best way across and coming all the way down here waste time Well, it would kind of put me where I need to be. Is there any other landings? No, this is the only landing I see where the road stops there. I guess across here through the McAllister farm. Why don't we go across there to the McAllister's farm? It's 
come up on the right flank of Kane. Nope, I'm on display. Cutler <laughs> setting up on the on the curve of the hill. I gotta keep on pushing. Once Candy gets reset here, uh, re moves their line, we'll move up to them. Now I'm kind of bypassing Wolf's Hill here, but that's only until Standards comes up. I don't know if they have any guns up on that hill. Alright, now we need to go. Should have Candy come around like that. We need to move. I don't want to just sit there getting getting shells. I need to secure this over there. I need to secure the bridge. Hopefully, and hopefully they're not coming, creeping around me here. Just not getting good artillery on this for an attack over here. through these woods causing some organizational loss see how long it's taken standard to come across now they do have a big brigade iron brigade's getting squeezed out by ruger no 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 they're breaking i need them to fall i need i wanted them to fall back I need to I need to wait with Kane until I guess I'll bring Winnegar up. Like I said, this is higher than over there. So it's taking forever to get here as I thought they would. That's right. Good, good. Green needs to take them. There goes Cutlers. Oh come on. Move. Rugers is breaking. So I have MacDougall back there. So Gordon's moved off the hill, I think. Let's go see what's happening up here. All right, Gordon's broke. Keep on pushing up. Ames is broke. Iron Brigade is just not getting set up at all. So Ruger, Ruger fell back. We need him to fall back through MacDuels. Now they're just in the way. Hopefully, I can bring Green up over here. Yeah, there's no one. Up, there's no one up on the hill now. No one up on Wolf's Hill. So standard. I'm gonna actually. Give them new orders. I'll have them set up over here and try to come come in front of the hill. And at least they were able to reform. Bring uh, bring Reynolds back up onto the hill. And there goes the Iron Brigade. They just need to attack. They need to attack.
Yo, where are you going? Charge into him. <laughs> We're winning. Yes, we're winning. Winning. Can I get Lockwood to get over there? So I have standards coming up to replace them. Really can't make them go at a run, but at least I can get them over there. Rosa dispatched another division against us. Johnson's division approaches from the north. All right, we, we have secured Benner's Hill. Now we just need to hold it. Cutler's morale's going up. Ames is actually doing pretty good. Come on, don't crap out on me. I don't know why my computer wants, loves to do this. We need to get back right where they were. There we go. At least we got artillery up there. Man, MacDougall's is getting... They are getting torn up. I wonder how long it's going to take them to get up there to Kirchler's farm. This is becoming a huge cluster over here. Fall back here, back into the buildings. McDougal should reform. issues. Hopefully this comes out alright and I apologize if it's not. I can see that my camera and everything's having issues. As it always does. Nothing seems to go want to go right for Adam. You just want you just want your technology to work. That it says it's gonna work and it doesn't. Um, we're actually going to end it here. I don't know what's what's happening with it. So we're just going to end it here. Thank you for watching another 20 with 20. Um, this is going to be another one that's less than 20. But thank you for watching it. Uh, if you like what you see, feel free to give me a thumbs up. Leave me comments below. And as always, if you're new here, feel free to click, click on the red subscribe button at the end of the episode. Well, as always, good night and good luck.